Hello y'all, it's Mr. Michaels from Armstrong Middle School. Uh, today we are going to talk about file management. And at the end of our discussion, we're going to have a short assignment for you to turn in on Google Classroom. I hope you enjoy, have a great day, bye-bye. I want you to think of something for a minute. Think of something that you often have to look for at your home. For me, that's my keys are the remote to my TV. In order to solve my problem of always looking for the keys, I started hanging them on the wall by the garage every time I got home. You could say I organized them. I don't know about you, but I loved playing Legos when I was a kid. In fact, I still love building them. But in order to build them, I had to separate them into piles, not just dump them like the picture of this desk. Now imagine that your computer screen looked like that. You'd never be able to find anything. Now, if you would indulge me for a minute, use your imagination and join me in the time machine. We're off to visit an office in 1973, a long time ago, even before I was born. We have landed in Sam's office. The year is 1973. Sam works at Texas Instruments. You know, the place that makes those fancy calculators you use in algebra. I want you to take a minute Look around Sam's office. How is he organizing things? I noticed a few different things that Sam is organizing his office with. I noticed he has a tray on his desk to organize. I also see he uses his bookcase to organize. And I'm sure he has a file cabinet somewhere. But there's something I don't see. What do we see in every classroom? and every workplace, every day. If you said Sam doesn't have a computer, you're right. You've been paying attention. We take computers for granted today. The Chromebook you're watching this on can do more than most people thought was even possible in 1973. In fact, the new generation of USB-C chargers have more power than the computer that took astronauts to the moon on Apollo 11. And the phone in your pocket is 100,000 times more powerful than the computer on Apollo 11. That's right. The phone in your pocket right now could take you to the moon. Now back to Sam in his office. Sam is probably sitting there thinking, why are we all just staring at him? But we have to figure out, why doesn't Sam have a computer? And the answer is money. What you're looking at right now is the Wang 2200. It was made in 1973 as one of the first desktop computers. I want you to think about how much do you think that this computer cost in 1973? If you said it cost $3,500 in 1973, you are exactly right. But we have to remember that what something was worth in 1973, the value of that money would change. And in 2020, that's the equivalent of $21,000 per desktop computer. Before Sam calls security on us, it's time for us to run back and get in the time machine. I don't know about you, but I would think it would be really hard for Sam to stay organized. The great news is that we have better ways of staying organized now and keeping our documents. The important thing is that you start now. Start now, you'll be more successful, and you'll have a easier time keeping everything organized. So how do we stay organized on our Chromebooks? One of the easiest ways is by using main folders and subfolders. If you notice, this example student has seven different folders. He has one for band, history, language arts, math, science, Spanish, and his technology classes. Our student created subfolders to go inside those main folders. He created a computer setup, newspaper project, U.S. government, robotics, sheet music, tale of two cities, and Texas history. Now let's think about which main folders do you think those would go into? For example, Texas history and U.S. government. What main folder would that go in? If you said history, you're right. Texas history and U.S. government would definitely go in the history folder. Our sheet music would go in the band folder. 
our newspaper project and Tell of Two Cities unit would go on our language arts folder. And in our technology folder, we would put our robotics and computer setup. If you notice, there's no subfolders for science, and that's okay. Sometimes you're not going to have subfolders under each main folder. Now, let's talk about your assignment. It's going to be in Google Classroom. You're going to open it up. The first slide is just some instructions, which I'm going to give you also. And the second slide, you'll see a screen that looks like the screen that you see on my video. What you will do is, number one, do not put that screen or that slide into present mode. If you do, you won't be able to see those blue icons on the side of the screen. Each of those blue icons represents a folder, a subfolder. What you're going to do under the History, Math, and Science main folders is you are going to drag the correct subfolder under those folders. After you've dragged them under there, just turn in your assignment and you'll be done. If you have any more questions, make sure you contact your teacher. That could be via email, Google Hangouts, Google Classroom, or however they told you to get, a, get in touch with them. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you hit your like button, your subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and buy some merch. I'll see you later.